to my youtube channel it's your girl vera and in today's video i'll be taking you through my staycation at a very beautiful hotel in accra ghana the hotel is called central hotel located at ridge now there are two central hotels one is at osu oxford street and this other one is at ridge the one at osu is very old but this one is as fresh as freshness can be yeah so i don't know how to explain it it's really really beautiful here at the hotel they have a pool they have a gym they have a nice restaurant and the rooms are so beautiful the ones i have seen so far our first few days in ghana were spent at urbana hotel if you know urbana hotel you should know that there is this huge i love accra sign in front of it which attracts tourists and that's what attracted me i told hobby i was going to take some photos when i come to accra like i'm going to take photos there and he was like oh okay why don't we lodge there at one so you can take all the photos you want to take which is so awesome yeah so we stayed there and i took photos all the days we spent there like we utilized our you know many <laughs> yes i am so sure we're going to have a swell time here yeah so i just wanted to update you guys that you know we've changed uh what do they call it we've changed base since we wanted to see what this other side of town looks like so without further ado i'm going to show you what my amazing room looks like let's go Before we move on, please, please, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also click on the bell icon so that you can get notified of subsequent videos that I upload. Come in, show me some love. So we just ordered um, dinner via Bolt Food and we got jollof rice. I mean, we had Ghana jollof on Sunday when we arrived. And today we decided to take the jollof again um if you're a nigerian have you eaten ghana jollof before let me know in the comment section if you have eaten it yeah because this thing is nice i won't i won't lie it's absolutely amazing the one i had so let's see if this one still lives up to that particular glory and um, i can see plantain i can see grilled chicken and i think there's this pepper sauce in here let me just taste it and see if it's you know nice like the first one i had this one is actually really cool as well i think ghana jollof is actually really nice i mean nigerian jollof is absolutely amazing ghana jollof is also amazing in so its own right. just eat so, the one they like yes i actually like this it's really really nice babe what do you think it's good. It's it's nice. It it tastes really nice. It you can see how you know. You finished yours. Finished see. Food. Good morning. It's the morning of the next day and we're still at Central Hotel Ridge. Yeah, it's really awesome. I had an awesome night. Today is more like day two of our staycation here. So we're about heading out to have breakfast and after breakfast, we're just going to go ahead with our normal tour activities. Today, we're looking at going to explore Jamestown. I have heard so much about Jamestown and um, I want to see the lighthouse. I want to see Fort James Prison. I want to see the fishing area i'm going to put the link to that particular video up here so you can watch it whenever it's out 
yeah it's not going to be in this particular video um that's basically it i just thought to update you guys before we step out i'll see you later yes i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way because you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until i look away but i've known you too long it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray as you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up on my thoughts sitting in and Yeah, so we are finally back to the hotel We went to Jamestown on a full Jamestown tour and it was so amazing we went to the lighthouse we went to Jamestown fishing village the people around there were really nice and um, the sun in Ghana is scorching I don't know but it's really really scorching so since we just came back we're just going to relax and then hit the pool later so we'll just go to the pool and swim I think yeah so I'll see you later so this is the pool area it's so beautiful there's a rooftop lounge here where you can go up and sit at any time throughout your stay in the hotel for guests this is a complimentary service which means it comes as part of your whole package but for visitors that's for those who are not lodging in the hotel you have to pay 40 ghana cities as an adult and 30 ghana cities for children they're also changing rooms here there's a changing room for males and there's changing room for females the pool is quite deep it has a three feet area a five feet area as well as a six feet area but the six feet area i mean it's for those who can actually swim yeah Since I heard there's a gym in this hotel, I came to check it out. So if you're one of those people who use the gym during your vacation, I mean, you can always use this gym, but I'm not one of those people. So I just came to check it out and, you know, look at the people who are working out. In this case, my husband. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday we went to Boti Falls. It was an awesome experience. We had an awesome time hiking and you know seeing the amazing stuff that's there. And I'm going to put the link to that particular video up here so you can check it out. Today is basically a rest day for us. We've spent a whole lot of time sleeping and we want to go out later for lunch and after that we moved to the accra art center and see what we can get yeah i'm going to give you a tour of the art center as well that's the arts and crafts market let me put it that way yeah so we asked for some recommendations of local restaurants where we can eat um local ghanaian food you know that's what we've been doing since we arrived and we heard about asanka local i don't know if i pronounced that correctly but it's located in osu so we're going to head over there and have lunch before going to the art and craft center hey kid don't ever let them get inside your head they'll tell you what to do in life instead of everything you know that you could get don't let them guide your life towards regret i'll fight for what i love with every breath my past is filled with things i won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they wanna rise up while you drown 
They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless So we are at the Accra Art Center and I came shopping to get, you know, a few souvenirs and I saw this awesome Kente horses and it's so beautiful. I got about, I think three or four, you know, it's really awesome that I was able to get here and um, there are beautiful things around here. There are ready-made clothes, beads, there are materials like fabrics that you can use in sewing clothes and all. So whenever you are in Accra, you might want to stop by here and you know purchase one or two things. They have really really awesome things. Yeah. These are the key rings, the key holders, the big magnet. They have the big and the small ones. And we have a bracelet for men. We have it in varieties. We have the plastic one and the bamboo ones. For good price. How much are these? This, this, this. this cannot cost up to ten cities. Come again. This cannot cost up to ten cities. Yeah, so right now I'm inside a shop, shop number six in Art Center Ghana. Art Center Accra Ghana, yes. And um, I came to this drum shop. Drumming is free, but you can purchase the drums if you want to purchase drums. And um, there's also a carving shop, I think, after this, where you can also buy carvings to support the business, yes. So that's basically it. I'm going to start drumming right now, and um, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> so this is called the Jimbe. Yeah, this is called the Jimbe. Jimbe, Jimbe drum. Um, yes, and Jimbe is found in West Africa. Okay. It's found in Mali, Sudan, Burkina, um, all the West African countries. Okay. Yes. And with Jimbe, we have different kind of Jimbe. We have the cow skin and the goat skin. The goat is for beginners and the cow is for masters. So this is the goat skin? Goat skin. And this That's is the, the cow, cow skin. skin. So oh, this is okay. a master drum and this is a beginner's drum. Okay. Oh, yes. Right. So I want to give you some few kits and the drum. Okay. We have three kits and drum. We have open I mean, slap and bass. Those ones give sound of the drum. Open slap and bass. So open is quarter of the hand, so it's like this. Let's do it. Yeah. So two hands. Yeah. Yeah, that's open. Yeah. Okay. So we have slap. Slap is half of the palm, so it goes like this. Half, half, half of the palm. So no, you're flexing the hands. Yeah. Two hands. Yeah. Do it. Like that. And bass is the middle of the drum, so it goes like this. Let's go. Ah, two hands. Three keys, let's create a rhythm. Open slap bass. Let's go! Yeah! second together. Yeah. 
África. Um, this is shop number six and this is Art Center Ghana, um, West Africa and we do drums as you can see we have a lot of kind, kind of drums we have Jimbe, we have Palungo, we have a lot of stuff and this is the best place for you we have authentic drums, drums for play, drums for entertainment and drums for life so this is the drum shop, welcome So you said it's 150? Yeah, 150. That's your last price. That's the last price for high time. Where, where are you? What are you trying to buy? Um, I'm trying to buy oh. Kente. <laughs> and I'm hearing 150 Ghana cities for six years. But let me just see how it goes. Hmm. So we've finally been able to get the Kente material. I got 12 yards and it's really beautiful. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so we'll soon be done at the market and we'll be heading back to the hotel. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> oh my god. We just got back from the Accra Arts and Crafts Center and we got lots and lots of souvenirs for ourselves and our friends. Yes, yeah, so first of all, I got this Ghana t-shirt. I really like it um, and I wanted something to remind me of the time when I visited Ghana, right? So I got this. I also got some nice Kente wallets for my friends and myself as well they're so cute i also got some kente print material for some family members and for ourselves too i heard that this is not the real kente the real kente is being woven just like ashoke in nigeria yes but this one is the high target and it's still really really beautiful we also got some you know carved woodwork <laughs> yeah this is so lovely this is someone praying we also got this lovely frame yes it has some symbols which has um some meanings in ghana it's written here that the first one the first one is the symbol of supremacy the second one here is a symbol of dexterity and prowess and this other one is a symbol of freedom yeah so the meanings are at the back of the frame so it's so lovely and then hobby got this beautiful shirt <laughs> yay yes so it's really really awesome we had an awesome time at the market so whenever you are in ghana please 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 stop by the art and craft center in accra and um, you can get amazing souvenirs for yourself and don't forget to bargain one more thing oh my god i would have forgotten this i had this woven for me i have always wanted this so i made a mental note to get this whenever i am in ghana and it was among the first things i looked out for in the market so um there's a guy who did it for me you can ask me on instagram and i'll give you the phone number of the guy that did this for me, it's so beautiful. See, Vera, yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow we'll be leaving Ghana. I enjoyed my stay in Accra and um, all the places I visited in Ghana as a whole. I'm going to take you along with us, you know, tomorrow. So you see the remaining parts of the journey and our stay in this beautiful hotel. So I'll see you tomorrow.
So we've come to the end of our staycation at Central Hotel Ridge in Ghana and today we're going back to Nigeria so we're just going to have breakfast and then move to the airport here yeah. so the next set of videos you're going to see is going to be our departure from Ghana it was really really an awesome time we enjoyed our stay here and we had an awesome time so whenever you are in Ghana this is one of the places you might want to you know um, put as an option for places to stay yeah in Accra so thank you so much for watching this video um, I'll see you when we get to the airport yes by the way don't forget to like this video click on the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon so that you can get notified of subsequent videos I upload it was awesome taking you on this journey with me. Thank you so much. See you later. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they want to rise up while you drown They want to fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm moving